it's Battle of the Bronzers. Today I have two shades of the Hermes bronzer. Now I've already done a pretty in-depth review of the Hermes formula. I'll talk a little bit about it today. But I do have shade two and shade one. So you can see it, I'm gonna do it on my face, one on one side, one on the other, and I'll swatch them for you as well. I heard you loud and clear. You want to see a pink bronzer, which is not really a bronzer. <laughs> it's really more blush, but, but I have the Jones Road, I think it's Dusty Rose, on its way. So I will do a comparison uh, with my cooler bronzers to show you the difference between that one, which is touted as a pink bronzer, um, and then the ones that I have in my collection that are cooler. Also, Rare Beauty has come out with some new products, well, new shades. They have a couple of new shades of their bronzer stick. I'll put the shades up above. I picked up Bright Side, which I think is going to be the right shade for me for a contour. I have Happy Soul currently, which is a great bronzer. And I'll, I'll explain the difference between bronzer and contour. Bronzers and contours, and, and the whole thing around like shades. Let me just say, as a, as a makeup artist, if you're new to my channel, hi, by the way, <laughs> my name's Jennifer. Uh, I was a makeup artist for Chanel a very, very long time ago. And at least how I was trained, um, you know, the idea of bronzer and contour, Bronzer is sort of where so the high points of your face, almost like a highlighter, where the sun would hit, where you would get tan. I don't tan, by the way. If you haven't noticed, I'm very pale and my skin undertone is pretty pink, so I kind of just burn. Uh, but I haven't actually been in the sun, like late in the sun in uh, 30 years. Uh, so people who are pale often, and, and sometimes people with deeper skin tones, have you know, a tan, a bronze that isn't warm. It's cool toned. And that has led to bronzers uh, more and more over the years having more cool tones in them. Terra, the Tom Ford Terra bronzer is a prime example of that. It is cooler in tone. Gucci 01 is cooler in tone. It actually has a little bit of reddish to it. Um, and that has been done for, you know, good reason. For many of us, we're, we've complained about bronzers being too yellow uh, because it doesn't look right on our skin tones. Whether you're pale or deeper skin tone, you can have that reddish or pinkish undertone. Jones Road has recently come out with a, a set of bronzers. I think, I think she has like six or seven shades. I'll put it up if I can find the picture. And the lightest one is called Dusty Rose. And my understanding is that one is actually like blush not like a bronzer. Let me explain why there's a difference. The bronzer, the idea of a bronzer is to warm up your skin. That is the whole point of a bronzer. To be very honest, you can use anything you want in any place you want on your face. It doesn't, you know, just because they call it a bronzer, if you use it as a contour or you use it as blush, you can use it as a lipstick or an eyeshadow. It, it depends on you're coloring what looks good on you and how, frankly, adventurous you are with makeup. I often use my bronzer um, in my as a shadow. I often use bronzers as I'm gonna do today with Rare Beauty as a contour. It depends on the tones. But in general, if you put a cool toned shade here and it has like some brown in it, it can look muddy. It can look gray. If it's like a mushroom shade, which is the new shade of the Rare Beauty is, if you put it in these types of areas, it's not gonna look right because your face adjusts to like highlight and shadow. And so the cooler toned browns or grays, really it, what you're trying to do is create a hollow. So something here to cut a cheek, to narrow your nose, to, to shape your face, all of those things. So that is why generally bronzers are warmer, contours are cooler, and blushes, by their definition, blush, make your cheeks blush. Whatever color it does when you blush, <laughs> I turn sort of like a bright pink shade. Um, or if you're out in the winter, um, you saw that winter uh, person look that came up that was really popular. Really, it was just a spot of bright pink right on the apples of your cheeks. So the Jones Road bronzer that's pink is really just, let's be, I wanna be honest, it's blush. It's just a blush that has a little bit more bronze in it. It's gonna be interesting to see how pink it really is. If it's more like Terra, like Tom Ford's Terra, then it's just a cool toned bronzer. Um, and if you like that, which I do, and it looks good on you, fantastic. 
you could always, I, I'm going to assume based on the shade that it looks like on, on the, which is dangerous because I haven't, I haven't gotten it yet. I need to look at it in person. That it probably works as a blush too. Blush can also be used to contour your face. Back in the 80s, everyone contoured their face with blush. There really wasn't such a thing as contour and bronzer. It wasn't like, I mean, makeup artists did stuff like that, but frankly, in, in regular day use, there were not people going around with a bronzer, a contour stick, you know, multiple types of contour. That just wasn't a thing. But many women look back at like Dynasty or Dallas there was blush and a lot of the blush was here, the lower part of the cheek to sculpt the cheek. And in fact, the draping look, you know, where you put the blush around your eyes, that was popular in the eighties too. There was a lot of blush to contour your face. So the idea of contouring your face with a cool shade, that's exactly what it is. So I, I'm saying all of that because when I did my bronzer video with the Hermes, a lot of people, I heard from a lot of you saying, well, th those are all too bronzy for me. I'm not looking for that then I don't think you're looking for a bronzer. I think you're looking for blush. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking a blush and contouring your face with it. And if you're interested in like a video of how to do that, I can certainly do it. I'm sure someone like Sherry Voyage has done something like that because she's a very talented makeup artist. Um, and she, she's more adventurous in her style. She does a lot of those types of things. So just, I wanna put that all out there. If you have like a rosy toned, with a little bit of warmth, like a little bit of brown in your uh, collection, that's a blush, and try to stick with something that's like matte or satin matte. Try it as a contour. I think you'll like it. But I will have the um, I will have the Jones Road very soon, and I will swatch it, uh, swatch compare it to the Hermes and some of my favorite bronzers, so you, we can all see the difference. All right, that was the lesson for today. Uh, now let's just get to the shades. So here is Atlas, and here is now I'm Italian, so I should be able to say this Tatori. I could be completely wrong. Um, so Tatori and Atlas. If you saw the swatches I put on Instagram, guys, they're both warm. They are both warm leaning. I don't, I don't. <laughs> Look, like I said, bronzers are supposed to be warm. That's fine, but these are really warm. Like they're almost yellow. Of the two, I actually think the Atlas is gonna be nicer on my skin than the Tatori because I think the Tatori is even like peach, almost like yellow. So, I think, and we're going to try it out, uh, I think what I'm going to tell you guys is that the formula, which I mentioned before when I did my full review, the formula is awesome. The formula of Hermes, is it worth $105? In my opinion, no. No bras is worth $105. It's just, things have gotten out of hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> my little rant for today. Um, yeah, that's ridiculous. But, but the formula is excellent. And it's, it's as good, maybe even better than the Chanel Oversized. Like it really looks beautiful on the skin, especially if you have more troublesome skin, uh, skin with texture, dryness, older like myself. I, I would really highly recommend these. Get them on sale. That's what I did. Uh, at 20% off, they're about right. I mean, they're still, in my opinion, too expensive, but at least they're more in line. You're paying for the Hermes name. That's all there is to it. But the formula is really, really good. Um, and it, it just flows over the face and it just stays and it, it really does look stunning. So it's above this. And when I did the full review, I'll link to it. I had the other shades and they're three, four, and five. They do look cool, but they don't, cooler, but they don't look cool. One of my friends actually picked up three and five, I believe, and she's gonna let me know if she thinks that I could wear them because I'm so pale, they might be too deep. Uh, but I, you know, I do really like the formula and I would love to have one that I really like. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up saying Atlas is the one that I use for when I'm just looking for a bronzier, warmer look. So let me uh, swatch them on my hand. I also want to mention that on my face today, I have the House Labs uh, foundation. I'll be doing like a speed review coming up soon. Really like the foundation. I think it's very good. The colors, trying to figure out the colors is weird, but once you do, uh, it's really nice. The um, eyeshadow I have on is the Chantecaille Spring. I use just two of the shades to create a very um, neutral, warm toned look because I figured we were focusing on bronzers today. And I do think that uh, it's really nice. Um, the uh, the eyeshadow is, is beautiful. I haven't picked up the, um, the blushes as of yet. And on my lips is my new favorite lipstick, which you guys cannot get. 
so I kind of, I apologize. Uh, from one of my dearest friends who sent it to me. This is Charlotte Tilbury Confession, which is a lipstick that came out several years ago. Several years ago? I've lost count of when it came out, but it was like part of a special collection that Charlotte Tilbury does every once in a while. And I really wanted to buy it. I think I was traveling for work and I never got around to it. it sold out, came back and sold out and I never was able to get it. And I absolutely love this shade. And one of my dearest friends sent it to me as a gift. And I just want to say thank you so much. I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it. I absolutely love it. If you have a chance to get Confession, it's just the best shade. It's just fantastic. Anyway, um, so here's Atlas and here is Totori. And as I think you can see, Totori is like, I don't know, peach. It's not even like a bronzer. It's, I don't know what that is. It's peach. And I, I, again, if you if you have a warm skin tone and you're pale, it might work for you. But otherwise, I feel like, I don't know. I just, I feel like it's not going to work for a lot of people. All right, now let's talk about the Rare Beauty um, bronzers. They are called Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Sticks. So that's why when I said today they are, this is the battle of bronzers, it is, because this is, these are known as bronzers. I really use them for contour, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, okay, so the shade that I had before was Happy Soul. Is that correct? Yes, Happy Soul. Um, and I'll swatch it for you in just a second. Happy Soul is described as a light brown with cool undertones, which is why I use it for contour. The shade that I got was Bright Side, which is a soft tan for with cooler undertones, so it's a little bit lighter. All right, so let's look at Happy Soul first. I've used a lot of this product and I really like it. I mean, I just think it's an excellent product. It rivals my Westman Atelier. I think it is really good. It's incredibly smooth. It's easy to blend out. Um, it's just great. In fact, I'll show it to you next to Biscuit, which is my favorite. Um, I think the, the Biscuit is just a really great shade for me. And it's just, the Westman Atelier products are excellent. They, they're they a little more expensive, but they're excellent. So this is Biscuit, this is Happy Soul. And I think you can see Happy Soul is a little bit deeper. Um, it actually has a little bit more warmth to it. So I can actually use this as a bronzer more than a contour. And I do, I kind of use it like a little bit higher, but I also use it to contour. Um, but the Biscuit definitely has more of like a gray, like a cool undertone. So I'm hoping that the new shade that I picked up, which is Bright Side, I can use like solely as a contour. Yes, it is perfect. I think you can see that this is very close to Biscuit, if not almost identical. It'd be very hard to tell the difference between those two shades, which is awesome. Because the Westman Atelier, as I said, is expensive. Uh, I'll put the Westman Atelier price up because I honestly don't remember it, but the rare, well, I can look it up. Um, rare Beauty is $26 and the Westman is 48. So 48 for um, 0.21 ounces in the Westman Atelier. And then the Rare Beauty is $26 for 0.25. So about the same size. Yeah, the Westman Atelier is quite a bit more expensive. Um, and so those two shades are almost identical. So I think you can see that this is more of a bronzer color and this is now more of, for me, for my, my skin, um, for a cool toned mushroom. And the reason, like I said, that's so important in, in contouring is because you wanna create those shadows. The shadows are gonna have like a grayer or cooler tone. I'm gonna use a new bright side on my face. I think you guys will see that it's uh, very much like Biscuit. In fact, I will do uh, one side, the new Rare Beauty, and one side Biscuit, because I think it's gonna look really similar. Um, as I said in my tag video that Sophia Sees Beauty did, uh, created, I like to put it on my brush. That's very pigmented too, which is great. And I kind of put it like in the crease here, and I do a little U. All this does, like the shaping, is like lift the cheek just a little bit. And then a contour, contour. Yeah, this is not bronzer, this is contour, which really what I mean by that is I kind of deepen the sides of my face here. Um, what it does more than anything, and make sure you get your ears if your ears are gonna show, 
uh, is it can create a different face shape. It can help hide you know, the fact that your skin is not as taut as it was when you were younger, those types of things. Uh, and then I'll take this color and put it down side of my nose and we'll use the uh, biscuit on the other side so you guys can see, you know, if it looks drastically different. All right, so that is the new shade Bright Side. And let's take Biscuit and do it on the other side. And then we'll get to uh, the Westman. And then we'll get to the, um, and then we'll get to the Hermes. So I think you can see that the Westman is actually less pigmented, which is interesting. Um, yeah, it's got a little less pigment than this, but the shade is very similar and they both blend beautifully. I think the Westman is the tiniest bit cooler. It's really hard to tell. I mean, it's close guys. Okay. Do the same on the nose and then I will smooth out. I think both sides look basically identical. So a dupe for a biscuit, Rare Beauty in Bright Side. So if you're looking for a contour stick, I think that's the way to go. The um, Happy Soul works as a really nice bronzer for me because it has a little bit more warmth to it. Even though it's cool toned, it's like, it's a cool toned bronzer look. The bright side, it has a little bit more like mushroom to it. All right, let's hit the Hermes. Now, I'm gonna do the tutorial on this side. Trusty Tom Ford brush. It is powdery, uh, not in a bad way. It's just that like you will get, you know, dust up when you do this. Here we go. And there is a scent, it's a lovely scent but there is a scent to it. All right, that's the tutorial. So I think you can see that there's a little bit of warmth to my skin now. Warmed it up a little bit, um, but there's not a lot of, sh it's not, there's not a lot of pigment there because again, you saw it swatched on my hand, it's this light peach. It actually does not look as yellow on my face. I'm in natural light, by the way. So it's not as yellow on my face as it shows up on my hand. It actually does look nice. I'm gonna have to swatch it against the Chanel light. We'll, we'll do that in a second. All right, now we'll take the Atlas on the other side. Atlas immediately imparts more pigment it is deeper, obviously, as I showed you on my hand. Atlas Tutori. Tutori, to me, looks like peachy. It doesn't look bad. It actually looks, I think because the formula is so beautiful and it blends in so nicely, but it doesn't look, I think the Atlas looks actually better on my face than the Satori does. What do you guys think? Satori, Atlas. All right, let's watch it next to the Chanel light and medium and see what we think. All right, let's first pull out Tom Ford Terra. I'm almost done with this. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm gonna put it next to the um, Atlas and you'll just see how like cool toned it looks in comparison. I'm building it up so you can just see it because the, the Terra is, it's pigmented, but it's not, it's not super pigmented. That's Terra. Can you see how that Terra almost looks like a contour? Like next to this, especially it is, it is much cooler. It has like almost a rosy brown tone to it. So here's Terra, Tom Ford Terra. Here is Atlas. Here is Tutori. See how yellow Tutori even looks? I mean, like compared to um, compared to the Terra, it looks even more yellow. Okay, so now we're gonna look at Chanel Light. It is similar to Tutori, but you'll see it's cooler. See how it has more of like 
a peach versus this looks like almost apricot actually next to it. So here's Chanel Light, here's Tatori, here's Atlas, here's Tom Ford's Terra, here's Chanel Light. And then I'm gonna put medium, and I will say, Chanel Light, when I first bought the Chanel bronzers, I did not buy the um, light right away because I actually didn't like the light as much. I like the medium more, and the problem with the medium is it's a little deep for me, but I do like it better because it's got a cooler undertone. Okay, this is Chanel Light. This is Hermes Tutore. This is Chanel Medium. This is Atlas, Hermes Atlas, and here's Tom Ford Terra. Tom Ford Terra is still the coolest of all of these. It's kind of pinkish. The Atlas is similar to Chanel Medium, but you can see the Chanel Medium is cooler. It's kind of like a step up from Tom Ford Terra. And then Tatori is the lightest of them all, and like, it's like, it's like, it's not even peach, it's apricot, it's like a yellow. Um, I'm trying to think of like a, like a, like a um, cantaloupe, like cantaloupe, uh, if you know what cantaloupe is. And then it's, it's yellower than that, but, and then here is Chanel Light, which is similar to Tatori, but it definitely has more, you know, like a cooler peachy kind of shade. So of all of these, I still like Tom Ford the best. That's my favorite. I would say Chanel Medium comes after that. Um, in shade, I uh, Tom, well, in shade, Chanel Light and uh, Hermes Atlas actually are, are vying uh, because the Chanel Light, I do think was a little warm for me, but I, the formula is so amazing that it, I do like it. Um, but the Atlas, I actually think looks very nice on me. It's a little, it's a little deeper, so it has a little bit more to it. Um, yeah, it's tough, guys. I mean, I gotta tell you, like, the Chitori would be my least favorite. I just think it's a very peachy, <laughs> cantaloupe kind of shade. And I, I think for somebody who's extremely pale, who has a warmer undertone, um, it'll look nice, but I just, I wish it was more like Chanel Light instead of this yellower shade. That's the thing. And like I said, even Chanel Light was not my favorite at first because I felt it was a little warm. I actually like the undertones in Chanel Medium and Chanel Deep better, which is why I bought those two first, even though the deep is way too deep for me. Um, the medium works, but it works better for me in the summer. In the winter when I'm this pale, it's not as good. I have to be very light-handed with it. Um, but the Atlas, uh, if you look at it next to Ta uh, Chanel Medium, the Atlas is still warmer, but it's not terrible. I, I still wish it was cooler. <laughs> so, I guess, I guess I'll want to try the three, four, or five, I would love to see them in, in a store, in an army. Like, I, I've looked, I looked at Saks uh, Downtown Boston, they don't have it, Neiman's doesn't have it. Um, so I don't know where I would be able to see the Hermes bronzers in person. And if they were cheaper, I would just buy like a couple of different shades. I bought two, you know, it's already, <laughs> it's quite a bit of money, um, for shades that aren't my favorites. So that's the thing that gets me, you know? So if anyone out there has three, four, and five, <laughs> and they think it resembles either, either Chanel Medium or Tom Ford Terra, let me know. Um, and I'll buy one of those, why I don't know, uh, and see what I think. Because obviously I'm not gonna be able to try it in person. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. Like I said, the new, um, Rare Beauty shade Bright Side is basically a dupe for um, the Westman Atelier Biscuit, if that's your favorite. It is not quite half the price, so uh, it's a really good formula. It sinks right into the skin. It blends perfectly. Of the Hermes bronzers, I like the Atlas more. I think it actually looks nice on my skin. I just, I wish it was a little bit cooler, I, you know? Um, but the shade is actually pretty decent for me and the intensity is as well, as pale as I am. So this is gonna be a tough one. Um, like I said, I'd love to hear any of you that have three, four, and five, 
let me know what you think. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.